to Emily. It's one of those weekend days. Maybe it was even a weekday. Summer has reliably set in. The end of the semester is just starting to shine over the horizon. My roommate and I are deeply in our studies. I'm swimming in a deep in compiler theory. He bursts out into laughter every few minutes as he voraciously consumes a thick Russian novel. <laughs> the kind where everyone's name's blank blankovich. <laughs> in walks this friend of ours. He's this huge menacing football player who writes the most fa fragile, sensitive poetry I have ever heard. He's just been to Vaughn's. Vaughn's is one of those three or four person grocery stores that pops up in small towns that are too tiny to enter Safeway. None of us own cars, and Vaughn's is a 20 minute meditative walk from campus. While there, he purchases a jumbo pack of juicy fruit gum, 15 sticks. <laughs> now, how long would you expect something like that to last? <laughs> At three sticks a day, it's a work week. If we're more generous, maybe three days. Two days with maniacal chewing. <laughs> Our friend eats the entire pack as he walks back to campus. <laughs> Give it to me, my roommate says, putting out his hand. He then proceeds to rummage through his closet where he produces a piece of fishing line and he, he ties up the slimy gray mass and hangs it from the ceiling of our room <laughs> about eye height. <laughs> and there it sits, largely unnoticed, with the exception of the occasional person who will find themselves fondling it while chatting with us. <laughs> Inevitably, they recoil in disgust when they realize what they're doing, and that's quickly followed by a look of confusion as they try to figure out why a piece of gum is hanging from our ceiling. <laughs> we go on with our lives. <laughs> This is a profound silence as I try to figure out what to say next. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, that's right, that's right. Gum as a structural material is largely underrated, and rightly so. The, the mass of gum starts to crystallize and somehow manages to both maintain its plasticity but also begins to crumble. We entertain bets as to when it's going to disintegrate and certainly any guess at beyond the end of the summer would be reckless. But to our surprise, it maintains its consistency and we pack it up as we're packing our room for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Much to our surprise, it survives the summer and as we're packing, unpacking, it's earned its honored place back hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Our campus was designed on the standard Jeffersonian plan with a large commons that we, tra walk, we traverse multiple times a day. As if in a postcard, the road around that commons is lined with trees, and those, in those trees are birds. My entire time at school, I find myself fighting the primal urge to collect those feathers that fall from the birds. My mother had always told me not to touch the feathers of birds because they're dirty. <laughs> Both parts of my family are from Eastern Europe, and no doubt this is some kind of layover from the plague. <laughs> and for the most part, the imprint holds until one day I realize I have the perfect place to put a feather. <laughs> I insert the first feather. To our surprise, it becomes the perfect weather vane and, and perfectly registers every single minute current in our room. It's amazing. <laughs> we put more feathers in. We keep putting feathers in until it seems like we're threatening the structural integrity of the piece. And in spite of our predictions, it becomes far more sensitive with more feathers. It's amazing. We can even control it with our minds. <laughs> It's a beautiful object. The knowledge of its life and its existence endears it to both of us, and we love it. Yeah. It's another day, 
Once again, we're deep in our books. In bursts this freshman. Hope. Hope. We're both falling through space, desperately grasping for a concept. Hope is the thing with feathers. In 10 minutes, we're reading Emily Dickinson. You have to give that to me. We settle back with a deep sense of satisfaction back into our reading. We never see it again. Oh.